stop before you buy another oil-free miracle product that promises to finally fix your oily skin you need to hear this shocking truth now if you are truly suffering from oily skin you know that this specific type of morning dread you wake up in the morning you walk to the bathroom mirror and before you even started brushing your teeth you're thinking why is my face so shiny again? I literally washed it right before I went to sleep. Now you've tried everything. You've tried every mattifying product, every harsh cleanser, every alcohol-based toner that the internet recommended. But yet somehow, your skin just keeps getting oilier and oilier. Now here's the truth that no one is actually telling you. You're actually making your skin even oilier by trying to fix it. Hi, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And in the next 10 minutes, I'll be showing you the exact scientific framework that transformed my patient and her name's Emma in just 30 days and why everything that you've been doing might be actually sabotaging your own face and your skin. Don't worry, this is not a sponsored post. This is not another recommendation video. This is actually about understanding the biology of your skin so you can finally break the vicious cycle of oily skin. Stay with me because at the end, you know more about treating oily skin than 95% of the people ever will. So let me tell you a story about Emma. She's 29 years old, she works in an office, and she has one of the most vibrant personalities I've ever encountered. But every single day, she fought the same exhaustive battle with her skin. Now picture this. It's 2 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon, Emma's sitting in the meeting with her team, I really feel it happening to her skin, right? That uncomfortable, greasy sensation slowly spreading across her T-zone. And under those harsh fluorescent lights, her head is so shiny that she always jokes she can literally see her own reflection in it. Now, Emma has tried absolutely everything. She bought all free moisturizers that left her skin feeling really tight and stripped for exactly roughly about 20 minutes. She even went the distance and applied alcohol-based toners that actually burn her skin, but promised to actually control the oil. She invested in expensive matte primers that slid right off her face before lunch. And you know what happened? It became more oily. And the harder she fought the skin, the more her skin fought back. Her pores looked larger, her T-zone became greasier, and her confidence plummeted. So one day, Emma, when she was in my clinic, you know, she felt completely defeated and she said something that actually broke my heart. She said, Doctor, my face feels completely out of control. I don't even recognize my own skin anymore. Just, just tell me what actually will work for my skin. And if you've ever felt this way, just like Emma, like your skin is rebelling against every single thing that you do, this is the video for you. Now, most people think the solution is simple. Oily skin equals I need to wash more, I need to scrub more, and I need to strip it dry and apply a moisturizer. Now you fight back against the grease with everything you got. But this is exactly where everything goes catastrophically wrong. So the real villain isn't the sebum, it isn't dirt, it even isn't bad hygiene. So the true enemies are three biological mechanisms working against you. The first is overactive sebaceous glands. Now these are tiny oil factories embedded into your skin. Now for people with oily skin, genetics and hormones have turned this into overtime production facilities, pumping out triglycerides, wax esters, and squalene, all the oils that make your face feel so slimy and so shiny. Now the second are harsh products that actually destroys your skin barrier. Here's a cruel irony. Every time you use that aggressive cleanser or alcohol heavy toner, you're stripping your skin away from its protective barrier. And what happens is your skin panics, think it's under attack, and produces even more sebum and oil to protect itself. So in the end, you're literally training your skin to be oilier by trying to make it less oily. And third, hormonal surges you can't actually control. Things like puberty, stress, menstrual cycles, and even a lack of sleep. All of these send signals to your sebaceous glands to go into overdrive. So your body keeps hitting the produce more button while you're fighting to reduce the oil. Now, Emma's problem was never about having oily skin. Her problem was uncontrolled oil production combined with a damaged skin barrier that made everything exponentially worse. When Emma came and see me, you know, she was really exhausted. She spent hundreds of dollars on products, followed countless skincare influencers, tried every viral TikTok hack and TikTok's products, but nothing worked. Then she looked at me with a completely vulnerability and said, you know what, there's no more guessing. I can't waste any more money. Doc, I need you to help me. What does science actually say about this? So that's when everything changed. You know, we stopped fighting her skin and started working with her own biology. We stopped trying to eliminate the oil and started to regulate it intelligently. If you're with me so far, the hero of this story isn't a miracle product. The hero is actually Emma's own skin barrier. When it's finally given what it needs to function properly. 
Once Emma understood how ingredients actually work at a very biological level and not just marketing promises, she could build a routine that made scientific sense. So in simple terms, I explained to Emma that treating an oily skin is like having three precision sniper weapons at your arsenal. Now each one serves a biological purpose. At category one, these are ingredients that reduce oil production. Now, these ingredients work at the source, telling your sebaceous glands to calm down, don't produce so much oil. And for these, retinoids are your strongest, most scientifically proven option. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're using retinol, retinol, or prescriptive tretinoin. These vitamin A derivatives actually help reduce oil production over time while improving pores and texture. This is actually your long-term solution. Now, next up is niacinamide, which is your multitasking champion. It helps to regulate oil production while strengthening your skin barriers simultaneously. So it means it fixes two problems at once. Now, you can also opt for things like green tea extract and azelaic acid because they both provide additional anti-inflammatory and oil-reducing support. Now, we move on to category two. This physically clear buildup from your pores. Salicylic acid is the absolute king for oily skin. Because it's actually oil soluble, it actually gets into your pores and clears the sebum from the inside out. Now, it's like sending a cleaning crew into your oil factories to remove and mop up those excessive sebum. LHA, otherwise known as lipohydroxy acid, is salicylic acid's gentler sister for sensitive oily skin. You could also opt to use clay masks roughly about once a week that contains bentonite or kaolin because these actually lifts the surface oil and do it once a week for a deep cleanse. Next up, we have category three, and these are the ingredients that actually help absorb oil. Now, these products give you an instant matte result throughout the entire day. Things like silica or perlite are mineral powders, which usually are available in either sunscreen or in makeup, and they help absorb excessive oil on contact. You could also find them in mattifying moisturizers. Now, this kind of ingredients don't fix the root cause, but manage the symptoms. Now, once Emma understood these three categories, her routine became logical instead of overwhelming. So here's the exact routine that I built for Emma. Now, here's her morning routine. Now, step one, she used a foaming cleanser. Now, this helps remove excessive oil without overstripping the skin. For her, I prescribed her the CeraVe foaming cleanser, but you could also opt for the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Purifying Foaming Cleanser. Now, if your skin has acne instead of oil, you can always opt for the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser with 0.5% salicylic acid. Now, step two is toners. However, this is optional if you don't like toners. Now, for the toner, I suggested the Instry Green Tea Fresh Toner for more lightweight oil regulation and it's quite soothing for the skin. Now, step three is really important and this is treatment. I prescribed her a niacinamide serum or could you also opt for a green tea essence. Now, skip this if your moisturizer already contains niacinamide, so there's no need to actually overlay your skin. Step four is to use a mattifying moisturizer. Look for a moisturizer that contains three ingredients, niacinamide, silica, and perlite. I opted for the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Double Repair Matte, or you could also try the Cetaphil Pro Acne Prone Mattifying Salicylic Acid Moisturizer. Now, step five is very important, it's sunscreen. Now, this is actually the trickiest step for oily skin. Choose either a gel or mineral formula. I recommend the Instry Watery Sun Gel, you can also choose the Black Girl Sunscreen Matte or the Cetaphil Pro Acne Oil Control SPF 30. Now, here's the night routine and this is absolutely critical. Now, step one and two is the same, all right? Use the same cleanser and the same toner. Step three, and this is where this is the hero product. Start on a retinoid. I started Emma two to three times per night on a retinol. I use a Maylove Stargaze Retinol or you can also choose the Maylove Moonlight Retinol Serum which includes a niacinamide for bonus oil control. Step four is a mattifying moisturizer. You can use the same one as the, as the morning ones because matte formulas work perfectly at night too. And step five, really crucial. I started on something known as Ventamin, a supplement known as Clearit. It's backed by scientific ingredients. Ventamin's Clearit supplement helps regulate sebum production from the inside out because it contains vitamins and minerals like zinc, magnesium, and probiotics to fix the gut skin excess. Now that's it, you know, simple, strategic, science-based. So 30 days later, Emma returned with a completely different energy. Now this is what she said to me. I still have oily skin, but now it feels that it's under control. By lunchtime, I don't have this clear shine on my skin anymore. I don't panic before meetings and I actually feel confident in my own skin again. And her results are remarkable. The pores appeared visibly smaller. Now, by afternoon, her T-zone shine actually reduced by 50 to 60%. Her breakouts improved dramatically. And most importantly, her confidence returned. Now, all because she stopped fighting her biology and started supporting it. So here's what I need you to understand. You don't need to eliminate the oil on your skin. You just need to regulate it intelligently.
Now, your skin is not broken. You're not doing something wrong. You just need to stop nuking your skin and start working with your skin's biology. So I want you to use this three category framework. Reduce oil using retinoids, niacinamide, or green tea. Remove excessive buildup. You can use salicylic acid or clay mask. And third is to absorb the surface shine. Opt for products with silica or perlite in mattifying products. Build your routine around these three categories and give it roughly 30 days. Now your skin is intelligent. I want you to treat it that way. Now if this framework helped you understand your oily skin better, I would like you to hit that like button and share this with someone who's been blotting their T-zone in the middle of the day. I would like you to also drop a comment telling me which category you're most excited to try and which products. So remember, your skin isn't your enemy. It just needs the right strategy. That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky. And remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.